الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد arrogance and ignorance are two very demeaning qualities and may Allah protect us from those characteristics we seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from being of those who are ignorant so those are not redeeming characteristics to stay ignorant of your deen not knowing how to practice it properly and even the basic issues of faith wasting time and then on top of that being arrogant so that's criminal when someone is ignorant and arrogant those are two characteristics which are medhmoon which are sinful or unpraiseworthy characteristics Especially if you are ignorant due to a lack of striving. We're not saying ignorant because you're new and you just haven't been exposed to it. But we're talking about people who have had the chance. Who've had the chance to do, to elevate their knowledge about their Lord and have not done anything to do so. Made any effort to do so. The Prophet والسلام, said... لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة من خضر من خردل من كبر ولا يدخل النار من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة من خردل من إيمان. The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said, as was narrated by Abdullah. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, No one will enter paradise who has even a mustard seed's weight of arrogance in his heart. And no one will enter hell who has even a mustard seed's weight of faith in his heart. And this is in Sunan Ibn Majah. This shows us the importance of Iman. And Iman requires from us some sort of knowledge. You have to have knowledge of what you believe. So that means you need knowledge, something, some knowledge of the Quran. And some knowledge of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So that's what that knowledge of Aqidah is, of Creed. By knowing and believing in those, in, in, in the six pillars of Iman, as the Prophet Sallallahu said in the Hadith of Jibreel, Al-Iman in tu'mina billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa al-yawm al-akhir wa tu'mina bi qadri khayrihi wa sharri. The Prophet Sallallahu said to the angel Jibreel alayhi salatu wasalam when he was asked about Iman, he said it is to believe in Allah in tu'mina billahi and his angels and his, his books and his messengers and in the day of judgment and in the divine decree the good and the bad of it the sweet and the sour of it that that's Iman those are the pillars of Iman so the mu'min needs to have, those, have that belief and those affairs are also from the Amur al And as we mentioned many times, the ayah in Surah Al-Baqarah about the characteristics of the believers, that they believe in the ghayb. Alladheena yu'minoonu bil ghayb. Those who believe in the unseen. So they believe in Allah, they believe in the angels, they believe in His books. We haven't seen any of those things, except for the Quran, the miracle and the beauty of the Quran, which is the speech of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. That's all. 
But the other things, we don't have anything. We've never seen the Malaika. We've even, even seen the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but we believe. We've never seen Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala who we worship, who we make sujood to, day and night, every day, devoting our time and our wealth and our resources and our devotion. We've never seen our Lord Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And that's why it's a great reward and that's a part of the iman. That's a part of faith and to billahi and to believe in Allah. And the characteristic that was mentioned in that hadith, which is madhmum, which is back to our topic about ignorance and arrogance, was arrogance. So the person who has just that little bit of iman, that they will enter Jannah bi at some point, even if they are punished for their sins in the fire for a time, they will still go to Jannah because they were from the Mu'minun. They were from Ahla Iman. They were from the Muslims. They died on Islam. And in opposition to that, or in contradiction to that, is the affair of those people who had arrogance and they died on kufr especially due to their arrogance their arrogance prohibited them from embracing Islam from embracing Iman from accepting the truth even if their intellect knew that it was correct but it was their arrogance, their pride. I don't want to be on the ground praying like those people. I don't want to have to look like those people if, if, if that's what that religion requires from me or that's what I have the concept that I have to look like so and so and so and so. I, you know, I, I'm too prestigious for that. So whatever the cause for the arrogance that this is something sinful and will prohibit a person from entering Jannah and secure for them the hellfire may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and our families Amin ya Rabbil Alameen so this is why it's very important to strive your best to be humble in all affairs that doesn't mean to where you're taking advantage of no that's not what we're talking about what we're talking about keeping that balance of a type of humility that can help secure you when you want to become angry or when you want to go beyond the bounds that humbleness which is the opposite of arrogance that excessive pride that stubbornness don't let those things deter you from the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the sabil of mu'mineen don't let those types of characteristics force you to go in the hellfire. And as an aside, just so people have an understanding, sometimes people ask why I always look around, because it's important to know about your surroundings, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere. And of course, we have animal tracks here. So out here we have various, a few different types of animals, but probably the most that I that we would need to be concerned about out here would be at this time of year would be cougars or mountain lions and I've seen tracks so this is why I always try to be aware of those things and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and protect us from everything evil and help us to be better and to come closer to him and bless us to be humble so that we accept and embrace the truth when it comes to us. And may Allah forgive us of our many sins. Subhanaka Allahumma wa bihamdika ashadu an la ilaha ila ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.